Hi there, so Stefan Wagner's radio. I, as I said in a previous video, I, I did make 10 in the end. Uh, I gave about five away, and uh, I've still got about uh, four or five on the shelf there. <clears throat> Actually, I've just, <laughs> I was trying to figure out where I've lost one, but I just uh, dismantled one today, so, um, for, for parts. But I, you know, it's a really great design, and, uh, Worked out really nice. These are one of the, uh, I used a copper brown chocolate. No, it's copper. And uh, with this large, larger speaker in that one, which I do like. I like the uh, the bassiness of that speaker. And then obviously some slightly thinner ones, uh, which is still sound fine. I will give it a go. Yeah, the uh, signal on here is absolutely terrible. But yeah, I gave, uh, gave five away, ran out of friends. <laughs> so, uh, but the problem was that, the um, problem for me was that I was always very anxious about this uh, screen, this, um, you know, this screen that is very easily broken. That glass in places is half a millimeter thick or maybe even less. Uh, I bought a lot of these screens in my time and uh, they, you know, one drop and it's gone really. Also the um, speaker, you know, being open like that is also a bit of a worry. So I, I wanted to um, make one for clumsy friends and, and my son who's actually not clumsy but, uh, you know, he's young and uh, he's actually very careful with his stuff but I just didn't want, I don't want to, I wanted to make some where I didn't have to worry about it. So. <clears throat> I decided to do a couple of remixes of um, Stefan's PCB, and one of them's come in today. So I made uh, two versions, a longer one and uh, a thinner one. So this is the thinner one. You see that? I've used a smaller speaker. This is a square speaker, uh, 20 by 27. I've done a, a grill there for the speaker, and the there's a cut-through... Uh, for the screen, so the screen will go through like this. Oops. <laughs> screen will go through like that, which is nice. It's uh, it's actually slightly, it's either flush or slightly under the PCB once the once the film's off it. Obviously, the speaker. These ones. Which you know, obviously, that's not going to be very bassy. Uh, I did want to make a slightly uh, smaller one just for the hell of it. <clears throat> so this is ten centimeters thinner than the original design. I've just got to put that together, and I'll probably do a, a video of sort of me doing the final bit of soldering. So the the PCB. I mean, I haven't really done. I mean, I've had to rearrange the components, obviously, because uh, there's a dirty great hole in the middle there. So, you know, there's, you, you had to, I had to move everything around. Uh, I've got, a, got rid of the battery uh, plug port there because there was enough room for it. <clears throat> but apart from that, it's pretty much the same. I decided to use these crystals because... The other ones are actually really, really hard to hand solder. Uh, they're not designed for hand soldering. So that's it really. I'm just going to, uh, there's the second design is uh, is using the original speaker, the 40 inch speaker. Uh, so the sound qualities as with the original, and I think I'm going to prefer those ones. Well, I haven't actually got the PCBs made up yet because I needed to basically know whether I'd screwed it up or not first. So um, this is just going to be, I'll probably make a couple of these and then I think the ones that I'll end up giving to clumsy friends uh, will be the slightly longer ones uh, but yeah great design I've uploaded those designs to um, somewhere <laughs> links will be below and uh, yeah I'll just show me finishing this thing off it's got a few things to solder on the front there Three buttons, the USB port and the on-off switch. Already done the LED indicator. 
you've got to get these things straight. Ah, that's good enough. Right, next one. Unbelievably, it's actually, you can actually get these crooked. I did it on one of the radios because I just didn't think it was possible, but uh, I wasn't thinking about it. When I mean crooked, I mean, you know, a third of a millimetre off, which looks absolutely terrible. So anyway...
Yay. That's not going to find anything because the uh, signal's too low. But it works. So I've just got to get the uh, speaker on here. <coughs> Hot glue. Just to see if there's anything else. So here it is complete. I mean, it's not much of a change really, just a PCB redesign. Obviously, Stefan Wagner is the uh, originator of this, the programmer, the creator. I've just done a sort of a remix. Um, just wanted something that was a little bit more robust, um, something that could take a, a few knocks. And, uh, you know, I'm quite happy with it. I mean, this is the smaller speaker, so it's obviously a bit more tinny. You're not going to get much bass there. I mean, it's kind of all right for talking and stuff. Get out, all being the first major student to make a game. One Corn Pros, which is coming out in the UK soon, and it's fantastic. I mean, it's certainly loud enough for that small speaker. But I think uh, the next one I've got to get the um, second design or redesign from um, the PCB manufacturer. I'm, I'm looking forward to that because obviously that's got the original speaker and it's going to be a little bit wider than the original. These are the originals and uh, the second remix is obviously 10 centimeters wider than that, but not, you know, not much. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. And uh, again, thanks Stefan, you know, great design. Very, very happy with that. I'm going to knock a few more off. Maybe I can uh, find some more people to give them away to. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching.